Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for April the 1st through to the 15th. So we will see what is coming out for you. This is a general reading, so just take what feels right and leave the rest. Wow, Pentacle King Taurus Crown. Mmm, money and success is coming out. Or oh, relationship to power. That's a very, very uh, successful card in terms of material resources coming through for you, Saji. We'll see what else comes in. So, yeah, just what I was saying is that this is a general reading. Just take what feels right and leave the rest. And if it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading. The link will be in the description box below. So I'll talk about that a little bit later on, but let's get stuck into this. So we have five, Wand 5, Sun Leo. Interesting coming out. So we are in Aries season, your fellow fire sign. And so, and we have your Leos come out for you as well. Sword, Ace, Air, Cup 2, Moon, Cancer. Interesting. Okay, so I feel like a relationship is on the spotlight here. It's kind of saying, is something good for me? Is something working for me? Uh, in terms of also, like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of very clear ideas, some truth, some honesty around your connection to perhaps your career or how someone that could be very powerful, uh, someone that's very successful, it could be a Taurus, but it can also be a sense of just looking at your abundance and there's something that is, there's a bit of a, re, being shown a bit of a reality check about something in relation to perhaps money as well and or career. It can be bank as well, but it can also be a parent. But I do feel like there's a sense of taking a really close look at something about whether something's actually good for you or not, whether it's bringing you happiness, the connection that you need. And it's something quite strong that brings you some uh, security, material security, some stability as well. It's looking at that. Uh, so I do feel like you're getting a lot, a lot of information, revelations even about this, about how this is working and perhaps how to fix it if it feels like it needs to be fixed as well. So let's pull some cards around this. The Four of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, got all this lovely fire. There you are, Knight of Wands coming in, beautiful. Queen of Cups, you've got yourself on your mind. <laughs> exactly. The Queen of Pentacles in the re recent past. Oh, the Four of Wands in the near future. So this is lo looking good. I feel like you're building, uh, establishing something new here, building a new foundation, but there is the need for perhaps change. Some positive, taking some pos positive steps. Okay, let's see what else is coming through for you here, Saji. Ten of Cups, nice. The Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Wow, okay, I need to pull something. Wow, the sun next to that. You've got, and then the Page of Swords coming in. So I feel like you're learning so much. There's so much information coming to you and there's some sort of breakthrough revelation coming in. Like I said, the sun, you've got the sun twice there. Uh, so it all comes down to this pentacle king, Taurus crown energy, and, and mostly that is money or relationship to money and power and how that's playing out in your world. It could be a particular relationship as well, like I said, that's on, on that's being assessed here. And so it's, I mean, we have the Four of Swords crossed by the Queen of Wands, and you've got a lot of like fire energy here, especially Leo energy coming through for you, Saji, that, that is kind of like your sister sign coming in and bringing a lot of, a lot of fire, a lot of energy to help you with this. Uh, but it's also, you know, the fact the sun is coming in so strongly as well. There's a major breakthrough and a major ending coming in, I have to say. But it's going to require with this four of swords crossed by the queen of wands, 
a sense of there needs to be a grade of understanding about a situation. It may need some time out. It may need a period of recovery. It may need to really contemplate and look at something, let go of the conflict for the moment and just go, I need to step outside of this and see what's actually going on. What's the bigger picture here? What's actually really real? Um, So something there is like, you know, a bit of a reality check, like I said, coming in. And it's like, I need to sort of work this out. With that comes the clarity of the solution. So you get presented with the problem and the solution all at once, Sagittarius, which is actually really good. You are crossed by this queen of wands, which is interesting because it could be like, why am I not attracting the right people or the right opportunities or the right things to me? Why am I not attracting that? And that can be the energy that's coming in here, that something is kind of not working. I'm not getting the right. And, and it can be looking at some very, some truths about yourself, how you're operating or how a dynamic, you know, you might be in the, a workplace that just is not right for you. You could be in a relationship that is just kind of, you're not feeling like you're blossoming and blooming. You're not shining. You're not feeling like you're attracting the right things, magnetizing. And it's kind of like, I need to work this out. Uh, I need to uh, feel like I can shine. I, I really feel like I've got, there's this sense of there's all this potential uh, and wanting these connections and wanting something that is not there at that moment in time. We do have love next to the Ace of Swords. So it's like um, something that you definitely could be in a relationship with this Pentacle King. It could, next to the Ace of Swords, it could be a new idea that comes through, but it can also be a truth. They're seeing something very clearly now. So at the base of the reading, we have the Queen of Cups. And this is all about, I mean, you're really looking at your emotional fulfillment, what makes you happy. This is about nurturing yourself. Deep down, you're like, I need to be giving myself some love. I need to be looking after myself. And that Four of Swords takes this time out to be able to create this. It creates the space for that. So deep down, this Queen of Cups comes in and says, perhaps I've got a lot more to give. Perhaps I've got a lot more to offer here. And so it does feel like you've got a lot of love to give here and it's wanting to find an avenue and it's kind of like at the moment it's like I can't find that or it's it's not as expansive as I'd like that path so I'm trying to work out new ways to do that. So it's kind of interesting. This can be self-love as well, this Queen of Cups, self-nourishing. So, you know, here you are, the Knight of Wands, very much, you know, on your own, you're in your own mind, but you're kind of seeing it hasn't come out as the temperance card, which is kind of like, you know, a greater sense of self. It's the Knight of Wands. So it's like very much looking at, at kind of what's around you. It's not kind of tuning into a greater, higher uh, soul purpose of what it is that I'm here. It's just kind of like going, you know what, who are the people around me? How am I connecting with them? And how is this feeling for me? I'm wanting to kind of, uh, I'm wanting more, like I said. And so this Knight of Wands is like in your conscious mind going, I need to make some changes. I need to take action here. So, uh, and it can be uh, wanting to, to kind of take action without necessarily thinking. It's just like impetuous, spontaneous. I need something that it's been like perhaps something's become a little bit of a, uh, like a grueling ho-hum. It's like the same old, same old, same old. I need a bit of a spirit. I need some adventure. I need something that's really nourishing me. It's kind of like I'm feeling very much like uh, – something's been good, something's been solid, something's been stable, but the truth is I need to spread my wings a little bit beyond that. And so in the recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And, you know, you've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles coming in here. So it's kind of like your, um, interestingly, a lot of material resources, health, uh, have been looked after in a way. It's a sense that she comes in and, again, it's a, a, a lovely Capricorn energy. You've got the Capricorn and the Taurus wor- working really strongly for you here 
Sagittarius and it's a really practical energy. It's a sense of looking at what you've got, hold on to it, you've worked hard or just, you know, you don't want to be losing anything, you want to stay grounded, you want to be sensible. Uh, it's this very pragmatic energy coming in, you know, looking after yourself and then there's this part of you that just wants to rebel from that and go, <laughs> Yeah, that's all really good, but it could be a little bit like it's great to have that, but maybe I'm a bit bored with that. Maybe that's just a little bit too, not boring. I'm happy to have that there, but I want to have that and I want to be doing this over here as well. So it's kind of like, um, yeah, just wanting a bit more excitement and adventure coming in to to really uh, – uh, and it could also be with this Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This can be a couple, you know, this can be parents, this can be a power couple, it can be a very compatible couple and you're looking at your compatibility and going, you know, I actually feel like we've got a solid foundation to work on. Let's bring in some more exciting, positive things here. Uh, so we've got a good, strong foundation. That's what it feels like. There's a very strong foundation. And it could also be for some of you like you're looking for your – the queen is looking for her king, you know, she's looking for her other very compatible other half. It doesn't have to be gender specific, but it could be like I'm going out to find it. I'm going out to find this. So it can be that as well. It's like I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm not seeing it anywhere. The reality is I can't see this person, so I'm going out to get him or her or they or them or whatever, however you relate to. So... Um, it's kind of interesting because what you brought into is this four of wands, which is, it's like there's a relationship that is met in the middle and both people are kind of saying what they need. And then it's like, okay, we find the common ground and we build this really solid foundation, but it's not just the earth. It's not just all about uh, you know, the earth element, we need to build this solid ele element in something that really feels good for me too, which is the fire, which is these wands, beautiful wands here, because I'm not going to be feeling happy and satisfied unless I've got my four of wands, I've built my foundation into what it is that I truly want. And that is, yes, I need to be me. I really need to be able to be me and let my fire be stoked and let me kind of go out and do my thing occasionally and yes sometimes I do like to break free of routines and the norm and just kind of go out and have a bit of fun but so it's like meeting in the middle of going okay you might be with an earth sign and they're like well I'm, I prefer to be at home all the time and I want to make sure we've got a solid we save all our money and you're like but that's all really well and good but I'm going to I'm happy to have that, but I'm going to get bored and I need to be going out with friends. I need to be traveling. I need to be learning more. I need to be studying. I need to be having the freedom to do these things that I want to do. And so, uh, yeah, it's not. So it's kind of finding an interesting middle ground compromise with something in your life is what I'm getting with a, a form of stability is what's coming in here really strongly for you, Sagittarius. And it's going to bring with this four of wands in the near future. You can see this beautiful 1111, a balance. There's this soulmate energy. We have the king and queen of pentacles. This can also just be you aspects of yourself if you're single. This can be someone very strongly coming in who's very compatible for you. And there's this sense of independence. So the four of wands is pretty much happy home, happy heart, happy marriage. It can be a, the card of marriage for some of you or a wedding coming up. So the Knight of Wands can be heralding, going out and telling everybody, hey, we're getting married. That can also be something that's coming through for some of you. But I think, you know, they're, they're just small details of we could be this, it could be that. On a bigger, like just a general reading message, it very is, it's very much like you're assessing things in your life as to, uh, you know, what's missing. <laughs> what's missing, you know, the Five of Wands, the sun, Leo, that's your wand, something's missing. You do have that person there. You know, maybe it's always been a struggle to kind of assert your needs or to get what it is that you want. There is support there, 100%, that you've got support um, and supportive energy, however that presents. But, uh, yeah, it's like you need to really step into this and 
take control of this. So that's why we've got you as the Ten of Cups. There's happiness here because you're finally kind of finding the freedom to assert what it is that you want here within a situation. And it can be a relationship, it can be a workplace, it can just be your life in general. And it can it really is like just acknowledgement of self coming back to your heart and going, what is it that I really, really want to be doing that brings makes my heart sing? And so that's why there's this happiness here of um, presenting that to to the world or to yourself or to a situation and getting a positive response back is what's coming in here. So that's why it's interesting we have the two of swords in the in the energy surrounding you because it's like two different people see two very different things or there's two very different energies happening here. One energy sees it that way and one energy sees it that way and we need to find that intuitive middle, middle ground. Uh, and so there is conflict there, but I feel like there is this negotiation. There's a very negotiating energy that's coming in. So, and this can be the two parts of yourself as well, two aspects of your life. It could be, you know, work is really good, really solid, but, you know, my social life is just nothing is happening at this moment in time. And, yeah, a lot of us, a lot of people have been in lockdown still, but it could be like maybe I'm just going to join another a group online that I can socialize with or something, you know, open yourself up to something new. It doesn't have to be that you're feeling stuck in a certain energy that is whilst it's good for you, it's, yeah, like you said, you just need to spread your wings a little bit. And so hopes and fears, the ace of cups. Yeah. I mean, there is a sense of healing that comes through with this. You need to feel that, Sajji. You need to feel that freedom and, uh, yeah, to f to free yourself to do what it is that you want to do. And this Ace of Cups is this beautiful healing that comes in that can be within a relationship as well. And, yeah, it's a sense of something new birthing here. So that's why I love the fact that we have the Ten of Swords as outcome in the sun is something ends, something big ends. And, you know, you've taken the time out to really work out what this is, to really understand this, to put aside the conflict and to go, okay, this is what I need. And so it ends, but it comes with a breakthrough. It comes and in that breakthrough comes happiness and a lot of clarity. And so there's a new dawn, the sun is rising and then here comes the sun. So uh, <laughs> this these dark clouds are leaving and the sun is coming out. So things are going to start feeling a lot happier. You're going to feel like you're shining again. You're going to feel like more like you. And it's just uh, things are going to be feeling really good. And this could be something just coming back to even a childhood energy. Uh, it's seeing more opportunity everywhere or seeing lots of opportunities as well. But a childhood energy, of uh, it's around asserting yourself, asserting your needs. And so it's interesting with this page of swords because this is very much... Um, opening your mind to the new, or to new possibilities, new ideas, new adventures of the mind. So this can be learning a lot at the moment. You could be learning a lot about yourself, learning a lot about relationships. You can be opening up to new groups. I'm kind of getting like a lot of stuff online. So you might be like, I've never known anything about the fishermen of Scotland. <laughs> I don't know why that came up. And now I want to know everything about them. So I'm going to go research them. I'm going to connect with them, find a group and chat and whatever. So that's just one example. Okay. It could be anything, but it's a sense of wanting to study more, learn more, open up, be curious to the world. That's kind of the energy and to be learning a lot about with the sun energy coming in about, like I said, about yourself, about relationships and just feeling really positive. It, it feels very positive and light, like I can step into my energy, my element and move forward and take some positive steps forward. So, yeah, it, it actually feels really good. There comes a lot of new energy with this, a lot of new impetus, fresh energy, and it's a sense of uh, a lot of clarity coming in. And love, there's love and healing. So it, it feels really good, Saji. It feels really good. So I'm going to pull a charm for you. Beautiful. We have a key with a heart. We have a key. So it's like, you know, unlocking the key. There's something beautiful in your heart that is being unlocked and healed at this moment. And you hold the key to this. You hold the key to your heart or somebody else's heart. And it's like this connection because we have the two of cups is this very strong sense of 
connection or reconnection coming in here with somebody else so something gets unlocked and you can now kind of be more open with each other and come in uh yeah with a finding that middle ground like I said so yeah uh, and there is just a sense of feeling really happy that this has occurred that this is happening and this can be you know if you're single this can be you unlocking a part of you to to be open to love to be open to that connection it doesn't have to be romantic as well there's a lot of love here but love doesn't have to necessarily be romantic you know it can be love from a parent it can be love from friends it can be love from work friends or a love of work or something that you love doing so that you know it it's just kind of coming in opening you up free to do what it is that free to do what it is that you want so let's pull an affirmation card for you Sagittarius what does Sag you need to hear so free to be me we have one it is a rainy old day here so i am safe in the universe and all life loves and supports me so it's nice hearing the sound of the rain in the background i breathe in the fullness and richness of life and that's it that's what you've been missing that's what you want the fullness and richness richness of life and to be feeling that and excited by that i observe with joy as life abundantly supports me and supplies me with more good than i can imagine and that kind of just sums up the whole reading sagittarius it's really i love it when you these little affirmation cards just kind of tie it in a perfect little knot a uh, bow ties it up with a bow in the end beautiful absolutely beautiful so that is it, Sagittarius. I'm going to take it over to Ashley. They're saying just pull an animal spirit energy before we go. So I will do that for you. And then I'm going to take it over to the extended reading where we'll get some clarifiers around this energy, find out what else you need to know because there's always parallel energies going on. We'll take pull some cards for the near future and the future beyond and see what else is coming in. And then we're going to focus right in on love career and money and pull some specific cards for that so that's all in the extended reading and the link for that will be in the description box below uh, so just click on that will take you over to vimeo i usually pin the link to the comments as well so let's see before you go let's get you an animal spirit energy to see what animal spirit medicine you're working with Oh, beautiful starfish. And this is all about happiness and shining and within your emotional body, uh, shining deep within and allowing that. For me, the starfishes are always kind of near the surface. So it's something that you're going to be really feeling and it's something that you're going to be showing and shining and other people are going to see. And you could be very attractive. You could be magnetizing and attracting other people. Uh, that energy of what was missing, it's like something was missing. So the starfish, beautiful, happy, uh, might be wanting to kind of feel really attractive, do something with your appearance and um, just looking and feeling good. So, yeah, beautiful beautiful energy so thanks so much for joining me Sag Sagittarius and please like subscribe leave a comment or share if you think this will help somebody and thank you so much for joining me I look forward to seeing you next time take care